you've done all the hard work, uh, you've secured your grant funding, you've generated the results, uh, and now here in the Technology Transfer Office we have a commercialization process that will help you to realise the commercial potential of those results. The great thing about UCD is that there's a very fluid process of going through a commercialization. You can come up with an idea by yourself in the lab and then basically go straight to Nova and say, well, here's the idea, here's the market potential, here's what we think is, is very good about it. We've been fortunate enough to be able to go through two patent applications through Nova in the last two years. Equinome wouldn't exist without having gone through the process um, and having the supports that were in place through the technology transfer team initially to identify the potential for the protection of the intellectual property and then the commercialization team in assisting with identifying the commercial opportunity and the development of and formation of the company. The first step of engagement should really be to pick up the phone and get in touch with one of us in the technology transfer team and to start filling out a disclosure form and to submit it to uh, the, uh, the technology transfer team. Generally speaking, it's a rare thing that a disclosure form is complete the first time it's submitted. So we will work very closely with you to uh, review the results from your project, to um, understand that the depth of the, the disclosure has been fully made, and then help you formulate that disclosure so that we can get the best out of the project. If the potential is limited, we typically ask the researcher to some extent to go back to the drawing board and look at generating more data that would be more easily assessed, uh, or to try to maybe possibly reorient the research to address uh, a more precise need. Typically, once you've done your sales pitch uh, to the technology transfer team and we're convinced there is a, a strong opportunity, we look into more details about the market opportunity, doing some market research, and typically engage a patent agent uh, that would be external to UCD to assess whether the invention is patentable or not. If the invention is not patentable, which is a preferred route of protection for academic work because it allows you to publish, there is other routes to protect your invention. Uh, it can be in the form of copyright, for instance, for software, which is quite common. It can also be in the form of trade secret, which can be a bit tricky, but has been done in the academic circles. If we decide the disclosure has strong commercial potential, then there are two routes available to us to commercialise that disclosure. One is to licence the technology to a, an existing company. The other is actually to create a startup. In our experience, licensing to an existing company generally comes from the contacts that the research team have into industry. If a technology is strong enough to support a startup, then um, we have to build that company from scratch. And we will work very closely with the researchers to give them the necessary knowledge and information and supports to make that startup as successful as possible. If you think your invention has some commercial potential, uh, pick up the phone, talk to us, start filling up a disclosure form, uh, and we'll take it from there.